Smear frames. You know them. You love them. They do this. How do you do them in 3D? There's three ways that I know of. One, you can directly manipulate the mesh on certain frames to either morph and change shape, or you can duplicate parts of the mesh and fill spots where that smear would appear. Two, you can use a grease pencil. I've seen this a few times. I'm not familiar with the tool myself, so I tried using planes instead originally, but that wasn't very sustainable. Three, the way that I do it, in post! I edit all of my videos in HitFilm. It's basically Premiere, but not in free. HitFilm has this really cool function where you can create plain objects with a solid color and they have an eyedropper tool to pick that color. All you have to do is create a square and use the eyedropper to select the color of the part you want to smear and then you just drop it in the timeline. Next you can use the rotoscoping tool to mask out the square and give it any shape you want and there's different settings to change the rounding, feathering, etc. And then after that you try to align it with the motion as much as possible, lower the opacity to do this, it makes it easier to line it up. And make sure to keep your arcs in mind, very important. Then after you align it properly, shorten it to only be on those frames. I animate on twos, so I say frames for that reason. And then boom, you got a smear frame. For the kind of content that I make, I find this to be the easiest way to do it, but it really all depends on exactly what you want out of your videos. All right, good luck, have fun.